What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out some brand new updates for its applications. Four important Samsung apps have got the updates and if you're interested in these updates, I will be leaving an APK for all these applications in the description. You can try updating your application through those APKs. It may or may not work, so be wary of that. And before we go ahead, more than 70% of you guys who watch my contents regularly have not subscribed to the channel. So hit that subscribe button, become a part of Apex community to stay updated with everything that's happening happening with your phone hit the like button let's reach at least a thousand likes for this video now without wasting any time let's dive right in i will break down all the new features for you guys the first application we are going to take a look at is samsung calendar application on the right hand side i've got the updated version the version number ends with 12.7.05.36 let's go to the application details in store here as you can see under what's new we have got some brand new features over here and this is the previous version which has got the version number 12.7.03.1 now let me just quickly take you through the change log here provides ai generated image backgrounds associated with calendar titles for the countdown widgets background provides option to hide past schedules support for marking reminders as complete enhanced search function for easy searching with natural language support for attaching multiple images and improved display so this is pretty big for the calendar application however well, the first feature AI generated image backgrounds associated with calendar title for the countdown widget is currently not functioning. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I've already set a couple of countdown widgets here. To set these countdown widgets, you can go to the uh, widget section and uh, tap on calendar widgets. Here you will see countdown widgets. These are the ones. This will show you the days left for a specific event. Now you can see here, I have got the new year day just for the example I've set it here. Now let me press and hold on this and tap on settings and let me press and hold on this and tap on settings on the previous version. As you can see, there are some changes here. For the background, we have got a default image and custom image in the previous version and in the current version, we have got custom image and then color. Using custom image, we'll be able to select a specific background from the image inside your gallery. You can just tap on uh, the custom image, select an image from the gallery and save it. The widget is gonna look like this. And now with this new update, we can select the color as well. As you can see, I have selected the color here. I can choose any color that I want. I've got a color wheel as well, swatches and spectrum. And uh, once you choose the color, you can increase the opacity here. We've got three levels of opacity, which is pretty cool. And then we have got the shapes, which was there on the previous version as well. So one important change here is the color option that we have got now and the AI generated images are currently not working. Maybe in the future update, we will get that as well. Let me go ahead and show you the second feature. Let me open the calendar application, hamburger menu here. And here, let me tap on the settings and scroll down you can see we have got a brand new option here, hide past events. Only show events from the current day and any others that are upcoming, which is not available in the previous version. And here I have enabled it. Let me show you what happens when you enable that. You will be able to see only the future events and not the past events in the uh, calendar. You can see all my previous months, I don't see any events here and uh, uh, the future events and the current events are available. That's what we can do with this brand new option. Next, let's say if you have set any reminders on the calendar application, we can now mark it as complete. As you can see, I got a few reminders which are set here. On the newer version, we have got this circle over here, this button by tapping on which we can mark it as complete. Whereas on this, we don't have that option. You will have to go inside that reminder and then mark it as complete by tapping on this button. Whereas here, I can just tap on this button and mark it as completed. That is the third one. Next, they have enhanced the search function. I may not be able to demonstrate how well this new search function is. We have now got the natural language search like we have got on the settings application. If you've got any specific reminders or events, you'll be able to search it through your natural language using the search bar. That's the fourth one. Next, they have also enhanced the attachments option here, but I don't see any changes there. Let me just show you this. Let's create a new event and uh, I will just scroll down here. We've got the attachment option right over here. Let me tap on this. Now here on my S24 Ultra, I have chosen a Google account. So it is showing me the media files from Google Drive and here I have set it to my default uh, Samsung account. So it is showing me from gallery. So let me just select a couple of images here and tap on done. You can see this is how the images look and I don't see any difference here. Let me just save this and let me open this event 
And here I don't see anything different. Not sure if I'm wrong here, but uh, I don't see any changes with this particular feature they have mentioned in the change log. Now this is the brand new calendar application for you guys. If you're interested in the APK, the link is in the description. Now let's move on to the next application. That is the reminders. Let me show you the latest version that we have, 12.7.05.37. This is 12.7.03.3. Let me open this new version in the store and show you the change log here. As you can see, it provides the early alert settings. This was mentioned in the change log on One UI 8.5. However, this feature was not added when we got the One UI 8.5 update. And now we have got the update for this application. Let me show you what does this mean. Let me open the uh, reminder application here and let me create a reminder. Let's say grocery and I'll select the date and time. Let's say 3 p.m., 3 p.m. And this is where we have got this brand new option, early alert. You can see two options here, repeat and medium. Here we have got repeat and medium. Along with that, we've got this new option, no early alert. Now we can select this to set a specific time for early alert. What this does is before the reminder goes off at a specific set time, it will give you an early alert. Let's say you have selected 10 minutes before, exactly 10 minutes before the reminder rings, you will get a quick notification. Let me just show you that notification. I've selected a screenshot here. As you can see on the top here, this reminder notification will come onto your notification panel. You'll get a small pop-up and later the reminder will ring on your phone. So we've got an early alert option on the reminder. You can also set it on the existing reminders here. So that is the only change that we have on the reminder application. Again, the APK is in the description. Apart from this, we have got a couple of new updates. I've got it on the One UI 8.0. We've got an update for Display Assistant and Routines Plus. Now let me just quickly show you this. Now here there is no new changes or new features. Samsung has fixed an important bug on Routines Plus. This is specifically for One UI 8.5 beta devices. It says fixed touch macro action error in One UI 8.5. Now I have got this update on the S24 Ultra, even though this is on One UI 8.0, I have received this update here. But on the S25 Ultra, I haven't got the update. That's ironical, I would say, because that update was supposed to come on the S25 series devices, which are currently on One UI 8.0 beta, but it is showing up on the S25 Ultra. Of course, this depends on the region. Some of you guys would have already got this update on your S25 series. Now, this is the latest version 1.1.20. Now, you may be wondering what is Touch Macro. Touch Macro is a very advanced feature which will automate your touch actions on the phone. You can automate tasks by creating Touch Macro Macro, you can have multiple touches on the screen and execute some functions. I have made a specific video about this. I will leave a link for that in the description if you want to understand what is Touch Macro all about. Do go ahead and check that out. Apart from this, we have got another update for Display Assistant. Again here, uh, it does not add any new features. It just activates the Display Assistant module for the One UI 8.5. I will try to leave an APK for this as well if you do not have it on your uh, phone go ahead and install this application. It's a very powerful application which extends your display settings. We've got some amazing features like app screen timeout, keep screen on, brightness limit profile, adaptive brightness options, standard refresh rate application, screen curtain. All these features are available on Display Assistant. This will also help you conserve battery. So do go ahead and check this out. The link for all the applications are in the description. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. I'm hoping that you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, do that. And don't forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. I have just added a brand new category under collections. It's called Christmassy. All the Christmas related wallpapers are available. These are the uh, pro collections, of course. Do go ahead and check it out. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. That's all I have here today. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.